Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this is a video for my HTX playlist and it's to show you how to set up what is called a safe throttle. Now this allows you to set up your throttle on your fixed wing aeroplanes so that you can't accidentally have the throttle forward and you, you arm and next minute your motor's going flat out. Um, I've, this has happened to me a long, long time ago, it happened to me, but then uh, I found out about the safe throttle. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the computer. I'm going to show you in HTX Companion the settings, and then we'll take a, a look on the radio and we'll show you the settings there. But this is really an important thing to set up on your model aeroplanes when you're flying electric aeroplanes to make sure that you do not accidentally arm the aeroplane. So let's switch over to the computer. Right, the first thing we're going to do is set up a curve. So we're going to click on the curves option and we're going to change the curve type from five points to two points. It will just make it easier. So you can see what we've done there. It already says cut because it's remembered uh, the settings. So we would then go put the curve name in as cut to make it easier for you to find later. We are then going to drag these points down. So we click and we want to drag them down to there. And that's everything we need to do on the curves. Now we're going to go to the logical switches. And right, the first thing we're going to need to do is set up logical switch one, where we're going to select A is smaller than X. We then, in V1, we need to set up the throttle. Now here we have to be a, a bit careful because we don't want the input throttle, we want the physical throttle, the actual gimbal. So we make that selection there. We then need to type in V2 minus 98. Now I'll explain that later to you. Now that's everything on logical switch one. I'm going to switch over to logical switch two, where we are going to select the option or. Then it is logical switch one. Logical switch two. And the final step on the logical switches for logical switch two is to pick switch SF in the forward position. And we want to delay in. Now let me put the delay in as 0.5. Now let me explain the delay. This means that if you have the throttle forward and you arm, nothing will happen. So, and then you arm, still nothing will happen. You will have to drop the throttle for 0.5 of a second before it will start to actuate. Now we've done the logical switches, so let's move on to the special functions. I like the special functions because we're going to you put sounds on our switches so we know it's got we've got an audible warning when we're armed or disarmed. So we're going to pick I use switch SF. So SF in the forward position is going to be armed. You can see this has remembered my selections before, so it's going to be you choose play track and armed. Then switch SF in the back position or towards me is going to be disarmed. That's everything we need to do there. Now let's switch over to inputs. Let's go to inputs. We need to do nothing here because we set those as default, but we're going to go on to mixes. Now in the throttle, we need to edit the throttle line and change the switch here to logical switch two. Now, once we've done that, we are going to add a line to here. To the throttle because we need two lines. Now here the source has to be throttle but not throttle input, it needs to be the throttle gimbal itself which is there. We are then going to select curve here and we're going to select the cut curve that we made up earlier. So there we go. And then the switch we need to pick is not logical switch. That's with an exclamation mark, two. And okay, there we should be good to go. Now let's simulate this so we can see the safe throttle working. Right, hit the simulator button. And let's enlarge this, we're gonna tap and we're gonna look at the channel maps. So we are, should be, disarmed there, you can see that nothing is happening. Now, if we leave the throttle up and arm, nothing is going to happen. If we go down quickly and back up, nothing will happen. But if we bring down and back up, 
you can see where our throttle is now working. But as soon as we disarm, the uh, throttle disarms. And there you can see the safe throttle working. Uh, well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Thank you.